This is Lauren, the Dadvocate. She speaks on men's issues, worth a follow. This is her reaction to Miriam Nakamoto breaking up with her boyfriend because of this. The interview got a lot of exposure. She saw him stick his hands out, and it was a turnoff. Here's what she said. As this guy is going, I was like, dude, you're getting fucked up. You still need to go... You gotta fuck her and take that shit. Like a champ or like a, like a fighter. Right. Here's Lauren's reaction. Fellas, is it gay to make sure you don't get punched in the face? That's why I like her. But there's something she might have left out. Now, we know that getting beat up by a girl is an acceptable level of ick. Getting beat up by a guy would be a little bit less so, and professionally even less. But you don't have to be a bitch about it. Let's talk about this. It's called the fencing response, and it's a sign of serious brain injury. Here's an illustration. What a baby. Now, you could say that Miriam didn't know, but... She's a fighter too. Nice girl. So basically, she saw her guy get injured on the job and she went, Aw, my brain hurt. Asking women to put up with tolerable levels of disgust at male weakness is what makes relationships and therefore society function. And this level of empathy, which is self-protective and sees others as tools more than people, leads to a society of basically barbarians. The ick indicator serves as a loose guide to help you understand when you're being weak and when she's being unreasonable. And I think this is pretty reasonable. Call it out when you see it.